Hi, my name is Michelle Bell. I'm running for a judicial seat, seat 30, for Orange County Superior Court judge. I'm a commissioner that serves right now on the Orange County Superior Court. A lot of people don't know what a commissioner does, so I was appointed by judges to do the work of a judge. I was vetted by Orange County judges and the legal community, and the process is very similar to a governor's appointment. It's a very extensive application that goes through my entire career history. Calls are made out into the community, and there's a very extensive interviewing process with rounds. Um, finally, the executive committee would decide if they would want someone to serve as a commissioner, and then before the position is filled, there's a vote that goes out to the entire bench. So now that I've been serving as a commissioner, I have my own courtroom at the Santa Ana Courthouse at the Central Justice Center, and I sit in the criminal division. I've been there for approximately 15 months, and you know, in my career, I was a former public defender, but I see it even more now presiding over cases, just the serious mental health issues that we have here in our community. Um, I think that is the most serious issue that our criminal justice system faces. I mean, there are so many other situations, I think, that people talk about now when it comes to social justice and racial justice, but when it comes to the mental health crisis that we have now, so many people are affected, and we're housing people with mental health issues in jail and in prison. And, um, you know, I think that with my background as a former public defender, but also with my background working in our collaborative courts, I used to be the person that was at the liaison for a probate collaborative court assignment. And so I have worked with people who are in lockdown mental health facilities who um, are conserved. And so I understand that there are a lot of gaps in our mental health system, and I think that my insight to what happens on the ground here within our community could be helpful in working committees with our judicial council, but also um, when it comes to legislative working groups that uh, the court has um, an advisory committee on. So um, I'm looking forward to that and, and continuing to serve our state and our community at a local level with those issues. So voters should want me on the bench because I'm already there and I already know what the job entails. <clears throat> More importantly, I have been selected by people within the community who respect my work ethic and who know who I am as a person. You know, sitting as someone in a courtroom, you are the most powerful person in that room. And people come before you and they're terrified because they don't know what to expect. Um, it's very intimidating to see someone wearing a black robe calling their name. And I understand that. I understand how being the daughter of an immigrant, someone who has a language barrier may not know what to do or may not know that the interpreter is not the lawyer, that the interpreter is only there to interpret. There are just so many dynamics within a courtroom and being someone who was a trial lawyer for over a decade, who represented people from all walks of life, um, and who now presides in a courtroom and understands not only the dynamics of the people who appear, but the dynamics of the attorneys and the stresses that they have when they're arguing for a position, someone who understands the needs of the court and the court staff. You know, there are issues with juggling between having clerks fill in, especially now due to, to, due to the pandemic, we're um, short-staffed. Um, you know, issues that factor in not only the needs of our interpreters, but our sheriffs that staff the courtroom. I mean, there's so many people. And I've worked within a system that has brought me into a courtroom multiple times a day um, when I was a lawyer. But also now, I just understand the dynamics and how to navigate those personalities. And that's so critical. I mean, you want someone who can understand the law, who can analyze the law, who is respectful and kind and fair. But you also want someone who can manage the dynamics of a courtroom, manage the personalities, and someone who can make a decision. And I think I've proven that I can do that and hope to have more substantive roles within the court as a judge. So 
prior to coming over to the public defender's office, I practiced complex civil litigation. And then before that, I externed for a federal district court judge when I lived in Louisiana. Um, but I have experience not only doing maritime law and tort law, I have experience in employment law, I have experience in complex um, construction related matters, and there's just a lot of crossover when it comes to civil litigation. So I feel that I have the tools necessary, especially given my, extent, my extensive trial experience, because I was trying complex criminal cases, enough experience that would give me what I need to just jump into any assignment. Um, I know how to do research and I can do any job.